Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel real quick. I want to do this quick, man. The PT Cruiser, the timing belt. Now, look at this image right here. This is what I don't want to see. This is what I don't want y'all to end up in this position. Your PT Cruiser on the back of a tow truck. And one of the ways to need a tow truck to pick up your PT Cruiser is you let your timing belt go too long without replacing it. Now, I want to talk about timing belt interval changes when you should change it according to Chrysler according to your manufacturer engineers that built the car and the belt and all that according to those folks they recommend you replace it at 102,000 miles every 102,000 miles that's for non-turbo engine and turbo is just a little lower 100,000 me personally remember I've been around since this PT Cruiser was born when they first launched it back in 01 I took a couple of courses on it in 2000 the year 2000 uh, preparing for its launch so yeah man I've been around since day one I can tell you over the years out of all the timing belt replacements I've done the earliest one I've done as far as mileage wise I go is uh, probably 86,000 miles so that's as you can see that's a lot sooner than 102,000 miles which is what Chrysler recommend so I say get it done a little sooner man because what you don't want is it to break, especially break while you on the freeway, you know, your engine revved up RPM wise pretty high, you can cause some engine damage. Now this big old debate about non-interference and interference engine as far as this car go, that's been, they've been debating this for the last decade. So I'm going to tell you my opinion on how I feel about it on another video, the next video I do. Um, but for now, we're not going to worry about it because we're not going to let it break, are we? That's right, we're gonna get it done way before it breaks because like I say, you don't want uh, to cause any engine damage that can be catastrophic. So, I recommend you doing your timing belt before it breaks. All right, man, that's all I have, man. Thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Remember, uh, I'm gonna talk about um, this whole debate about interference and non-interference of engine and what's, what really happens when a timing belt breaks and cause engine damage. Like I say, I've been around since day one. I know the history of this engine and the history of the car. I have spoken with engineers and they gave me their perspective on it. So I just put their thinking with my thinking and come up with my own personal conclusion on what causes the engine damage. Because remember, supposedly this is a non-interference engine. So, but we'll talk about that on the next video. All right, all right. that's why I say subscribe, man, so you can keep up with... Um, uh, what's going on, man? I got more cars I'm going to discuss uh, on other videos, all right? I'll see y'all in the next video.